Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show's all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of understanding that we must first help ourselves before we can assist others. Have you ever heard the expression that you can't pour from an empty cup? What this means in essence is that we can't give to others fully until our own cup is full and our own needs are met. The best reference for this is oxygen masks on planes. The first thing we are instructed to do in an emergency is to put our own oxygen mask first. We then can proceed to assist other people. After all, if you can't breathe, how can you possibly help anyone else? So often, we put our needs last to help everyone around us but ourselves. But ultimately, the end result is that our own self-care and needs become neglected. The truth is, in order to be the best version of ourselves and help others, we must first work on making ourselves a priority so we can assist others to 100% to the best of our ability. A better you results in a better friend, partner, colleague, and generally a person who has more to give. The next time you find yourself putting yourself last, remind yourself that you deserve the same amount of love that you give to others. As Oprah Winfrey quotes, remember to fill your cup up and let it overflow to the others in your life. Stay tuned, coming up after the break, so I heard that dehydration can lead to 25% of loss in performance. So I want to talk about the ingredients in SOS and how we can combat that. Yeah, so, and that's not just physical performance, that's also cognitive, mental performance as well. So um, a lot of that can lead to, you know, concentration, lethargy and so on and so forth. So the ingredients that Dr. Blanca, who's my wife, created and formulated is a specially balanced or blended um, electrolyte concentration that has all the correct electrolytes as well as some supplemental minerals to help um, speed water and absorption into your cells as fast as humanly possible. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have the co-founder of SOS Hydration, James Mayo. Using the best in medical and sports science, SOS was engineered by a leading doctor, two former elite athletes, and a retired military medical officer with the purpose of combating dehydration to improve overall human performance. James, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. Thanks, Dariel. Lovely to meet you. Thanks for hosting me. Lovely to have you. So I want to talk a little bit about your journey with SOS Hydration. I know that it's a family business, but I really want to hear about the backstory and how it started. So tell us about that. Yeah, well, if you're, you look like you're sitting comfortably, so I, I am. Uh, <laughs> I have so, time. <laughs> <laughs> so um, Barbie Brief. Um, so long story short, um, I'm a former pro track athlete and um, I'm also a former army officer of the British Army. Um, and I had issues with dehydration when running. I, I had issues with dehydration in the infantry and then move it a little bit further forward. I actually got pre-diabetic because of all the sports, um, sports drinks, high sugar drinks and all the stuff we used to take, um, which is very full of carbs. Uh, mm -hmm. My wife's a transplant hepatologist. And my brother was also a former pro Trek athlete and we basically, he collapsed at the world champs with dehydration. So between us three, we sort of, Tom and I were coming from, we need something that's better for you than better than an oral rehydration solution that's better than a sports drink. Um, and Blanca said, well, actually I treat patients with a oral rehydration solution that the World Health Organization developed about 50 years ago to treat diarrhea and vomiting. But um, that still has a boatload of sugar and um, it's also designed for sick people. So we were strangely enough in a winery um, in Sonoma and uh, we were discussing our issues and we, by the end of our time at the winery, um, we'd come up with a name SOS, we'd come up with the idea that we wanted to create a healthy, better view, advanced oral rehydration solution and boom, SOS was born. Very nice. And I always wanted to know, what are the causes of dehydration and is water alone enough to hydrate you or do you need electrolytes, especially, you know, in sports? Yeah, of course. Well, water is our life source. You know, we are predominantly water. We're basically liquid despite our wobbly exteriors. Um, and but you need electrolytes. Electrolyte, think of electrolytes as like the oil for your body's battery. And if you've got the correct balance of electrolytes, that will help keep you properly hydrated and help you also absorb water faster. 
Um, a very basic um, sort of science understanding is that sugar in small, small amounts, um, salt follows sugar, water follows um, salt. So if you have those in the correct molecular balances, it speeds water and electrolytes into your cells super quickly. Um, but sort of dehydration and what do we see? Well, obviously on the extreme case, there's the worst thing is death. Um, and then before that, there's sweats and there's going to, you know, having to call out 911 and, um, you know, being taken, being taken ill. Uh, but then you can also sit in your daily life. Look at, you know, you're getting to lunchtime, you're starting to feel lethargic. Maybe you've got a bit of a headache. Maybe you're just feeling a bit mm, oh, grouchy and grumpy. Well, a lot of that is down to dehydration, which mm. is crazy because if you're thirsty and most of us get thirsty a couple of times a day, um, then that can lead to both the cognitive and physical loss in performance. So it's not just sport, it's really just enjoying your day more. And that's really where we're sort of driving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And I know for sure water sometimes is not enough. Um, I do have low blood pressure, so I need more salt. So I've been actually using SOS hydration and it's great. It really gives me that boost of energy and hydration. So I definitely think it's a great product. And I also leading to that, I want to talk about there are so many sports drinks on the market. So what's the difference between SOS hydration and the leading brands out there? Yeah. So, well, there's, there's the sports drinks and there's the all rehydration solutions or hydration multipliers, whatever you call it. From the sports drinks perspective, um, we've basically got 10 times less sugar. And I know some of the sports drinks have zero sugar, but a zero sugar is even worse than those with a little bit of sugar because it uses sucralose, which is an artificial sweetener that doesn't get broken down by the body. And then you've got the, um, the electrolyte content. The electrolyte contents in, say, a stick of SOS or in one of our bottles gives you the mean amount to for your day or the mean amount for about an hour's worth of exercise. Um, so we've got about three, four times the amount of electrolytes than um, the sports drinks. Compared to the all rehydration solutions, uh, we've got a third of the sugar of those guys. So even though they're saying they're low sugar, they've still got 12 to 15 grams. These wow. That's a big test three. So 10 calories. It's non-GMO verified. It's better for you. It's got added minerals and um, vitamins to help with the minerals and vitamins. That's a tongue twister, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, actually are put in because it's what your body loses rather than some sort of root of Amazonian tree forest or something. And I heard that SOS hydration, it's just as ineffective as an IV drip. So talk to us about why it is and how. Yeah, without the pain. Um, <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's, all rehydration solutions can speed water and electrolytes into cells or two to three to four times faster in some cases than water alone. And there's been many studies. And if you go to our website, we're actually one of the only all rehydration solutions or sports drinks that has its own independent research to sort of back up our claims as well as using empirical um, data from the World Health Organization. So the World Health Organization's all rehydration solutions have done a whole load of studies that have shown that using an ORS is as effective as an IV drip to combat mild to moderate dehydration. Now you still need an IV in certain situations but I'm hoping that every one of you and um, that's listening in and watching doesn't get to that stage. So the mild to moderate dehydration yet. So I heard that dehydration can lead to 25% of loss in performance. So I want to talk about the ingredients in SOS and how we can combat that. Yeah, so, and that's not just physical performance, that's also cognitive, mental performance as well. So um, a lot of that can lead to, you know, concentration, lethargy and so on and so forth. So the ingredients that Dr. Blanca, who's my wife, created and formulated is a specially balanced or blended um, electrolyte concentration that has all the correct electrolytes as well as some supplemental minerals to help um, speed water and absorption into your cells as fast as humanly possible. What's interesting about SOS hydration is that it uses medical formulas and I know a retired medical officer was part of the formulation of the brand. So tell us about the story behind that. Yeah, of course. Well, um, so we, we're basically an advanced oral rehydration solution. But what we've done is um, through our experience as former pro runners and through um, as a veteran and my wife's experience as a physician, um, we basically blended the best possible stuff together and also built a product that has the correct balance of electrolytes that are used for healthy people. Mm -hmm. 
you're educating families on National Hydration Month. Why do you think kids should focus on hydration? And let's also talk about your new Paw Patrol drink. Yeah, um, well, hydration is everything. I've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old and happy, well, hydration. <laughs> um, I didn't like the lunchbox options for kids. Um, I was going down the aisles and we live in uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I used to live in Toronto, so you they understand the heat and everything else. And um, But the lunchbox options for kids is high calorie, artificial sweeteners, artificial colors, flavors, preservatives, basically junk. And I'm giving my girls junk and me trying to look after myself as a, you know, a healthy person. And I've seen it having become pre-diabetic. So we basically created a specific kids formula um, called SOS Kids. And we've been super fortunate to partner with Paw Patrol. Um, we reached out to them. I love the Paw Patrol characters because they they rescue things in a fun way. And hydration is about rescuing you from dehydration. So if you're on top of your game, you're going to have so much more fun. And the Paw Patrol pups rescue, do things. And it's all girls, boys, everybody loves them. Um, and it was a really great way to sort of, hey, let's do something that's healthy and let's do something that kids will enjoy and not only that it's got the added vitamin a added vitamin c magnesium and zinc and the correct balance of electrolytes for kids so this is 10 calories in 12 fluid ounces so barely any calories compared to the junk you do get and i'm super super excited we launched it just the other day and um yeah it's it's gone crazy and we'll be going into every walmart in the states wow. with very well like that's amazing congratulations that's that's really Thank big you. news you've been very successful with sos hydration but of course when you create a company there are always challenges along the way so i want to ask you what are some obstacles you faced when creating this brand starting i think the hardest thing about being an entrepreneur is starting something um because in a real job and a normal job you go there nine to five or three to eight or whatever it is and it's comfortable you always know you're going to get paid and you always know that you know everything's going to happen and the process of going through starting a business is wrought with chaos but actually when you just strip it all back it's just just step into it if you've got an idea and you think you can do it um then try it um maybe you don't need to quit your job straight away but the hardest thing about anything is trying it. it's a bit like starting out with fitness you know the first couple of fitness workouts are horrible um and then you get into it and it's quite fun um so that's where i sort of that's been the hardest bit and of course i think i've learned as i've gone through this adventure you lose more than you win um and that sounds really negative but actually if you've not lost you've not lived is my sort of thought and we've basically learned that or i've basically learned that hey take those losses learn from them and go and get that victory because when that victory comes and they do come they don't come as often as a no but when they do come wow it's sweet and it's cool so yeah mm -hmm, absolutely yeah with entrepreneurship there are always losses but at the same time it's so rewarding when you see those wins as you said because that's what really keeps you going right as an entrepreneur is those little wins along the way and you know our show is all about inspiration and we have a lot of entrepreneurs that watch this show um so for some of our viewers watching that maybe have a product or have an idea but are not seeing the success that they want to see because as you know as we know as entrepreneurs that you know there are challenges to start a company what would you say to encourage them to keep going and what does it really take to build a successful brand um this sounds a bit backwards but i'd also say be if it's not working change it up don't keep going down the same thing and don't be afraid of failure if if that idea didn't work and you didn't get it right then you've gained more just by starting a business and just by getting into it than you have done by succeeding at the end of it and to be honest if your business fails, it's not a failure that's a bad thing. It's a failure that's a learn for your next business because the next business you do is amazing. But hopefully the business takes off and it sort of gets going and you sort of make your own luck. Um, and you've just got to be so persistent and be aware of what the customer is saying. Customer key feedback is everything. You might think you've got the best product ever and the customer should love it. But the customer is always right. Um, as much as we hate them to say it, the customer is always right. And if they're telling you you need to change something, 
if one person tells you you need to change it, okay, take it, note it. If 10, 20, 100, thousands of people, then you'll fail it and fail badly if you don't heed their warnings. So adapt, improvise and overcome. And also have fun in it. God, you've set up this business. This is your passion. This is your everything that you want to do. If you're not enjoying it, then don't do it. Because yes, there's going to be some, I nearly swore then, so sorry, um, not great times. But also there's going to be some awesome times. So focus on the positives about it and just keep driving it and keep that passion and keep learning. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think that's so important is to be passionate about anything you do, because that's really the driving force to keep going, you know, because it's not always going to be success. There's going to be a lot of failures along the way. And I like that you said also to regroup, to go back if something's not working, to go fix it, because sometimes a little bit of tweaking can lead to massive results. So I really like that. <laughs> Thank you so much, James, for being on the show today. Congratulations on all your success. And for our viewers that do want to purchase SOS Hydration, where can they purchase it? SOSHydration.com, mm -hmm. um, every single CBS or um, every Walmart. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. I love your products. I finished most of them in the box that I got. <laughs> right. yeah. We need to rehydrate you then, don't we? Yes, yes. Please send me more stuff. I love it. But thank you so much. And we hope to have you soon and, and continue the success. You too. Wonderful to chat to you. And thanks for hosting. It's been an absolute pleasure. And say hello to Toronto for me. Give it a hug. <laughs> I will. Thank you. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.